Today we're going to talk about imaging and how imaging is critical and really important when your baby has suffered an HIE brain injury at birth. Specifically, we're going to be talking about two types of imaging, cranial or head ultrasound and MRI. MRI is the gold standard. MRI can give a lot of detail as to what is going on with your baby's brain. But that's not to say that ultrasound is useless or there's no there is no value of an ultrasound ultrasound can also be able to quickly tell you or tell the medical professionals what is going on with the brain it's it's rarely uh, inexpensive to do it is easier to move around it's quicker ultrasound can give information initially, especially within that 24 hour window after birth as to what's happening. It can tell you whether there's ab um, abnormalities already with the brain or whether there are things, whether the brain is looking pretty normal. If there is going to be hypothermia cooling, it can also help in that instance when it comes to certain things. So MRI and ultrasound are critical. And when you, if your baby has an HIE brain injury, see if the doctors and, and medical professionals can talk with you about what do they see on the imaging, what area or areas of the brain have been impacted by this injury. And if there is hypothermia cooling, then more than likely there's going to be a subsequent, or there's gonna be an MRI that's gonna be done also to help doctors understand how is the brain looking now that there has been this hypothermia cooling that has been done? Remember, the, the goal of hypothermia cooling is not a cure for uh, a, a, an HIE brain injury, but what it can do is it can look to slow the injury down. That's what hypothermia cooling can do. So I just want to talk with you today quickly from a medical legal standpoint about MRI and about cranial ultrasound. Both of these reports that are going to be generated from these types of studies. These are some, these are things that a birth injury lawyer like myself, we are definitely going to want to take a look at the imaging. We're going to know, we're going to know, want to know what are the findings and the impressions based on these things. And in addition, that 24 hour ultrasound, that one is also extremely important from a medical legal standpoint, because we want to take a look to see what was going on with the brain immediately following birth. All right, that's gonna be it for today's quick educational video. I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice lawyers practicing law here in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. Talk with you next time. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.